Hey everybody, JJ here. And I wanted to uh, show you guys all a little project that I uh, got going on. Um, not really me doing, I got a lot of friends and uh, family members that have been helping me out while I'm kind of bent up right now. Got some physical issues where I can't really be doing any bending or lifting or pretty much anything for that matter. So, got a, a lot of friends and family help me out on this. But uh, essentially this is an eight by 16 shed. And as you can see, this is uh, the four sheets of four by eight plywood. And then the studs are going over. So I'm losing a little bit there. So I lose a little bit on each end. So this is probably seven and a half by 15 and a half. So, as you go in uh, that back corner, so where that double stud is there, kind of to the right of that, it's going to be eight feet. So that's going to come all the way down. That is center right there where those four pieces of plywood meet up. And then I'm going to go across here and right to uh, kind of, you kind of see it on the wall there. That's the eight foot mark. But, uh, yeah, it's um, going to have an 8x4. I'm going to do an 8x4 outside diameter flood tray, um, just because I think that will be plenty. Uh, Floraflex is getting running here. Um, once uh, I got a, a friend of mine's coming over, um, owes me a few favors. So he's going to frame up the um, 8x4 area. Uh, with uh, like one by threes or something like that because we're not really um, it's not really load-bearing um, may do two by fours because I'm probably gonna want to insulate it right, it's gonna be insulated all in the back I'm using the pink panther uh, for the two by fours more pink panther for the two by sixes the um, archway is gonna be pretty much open because that's where the duct works going and then uh, next to it I'm gonna do a two by four which will come, or maybe a three by three, I haven't decided yet. That's three feet there from the eight foot mark, where are they at? Yeah, it's over there somewhere. But um, I got a 77 gallon res, a 55 gallon res, a 77 will feed the eight by four area, and that should last over a week, seven to 10 days, uh, no problem. And if I need to switch it out, I do, but, um. You know, I'm not using microbes. I use uh, like UC roots, kind of keep the algae and the bacteria and that stuff away. Uh, it's good for DWC or undercurrent hydro systems, but it's also good for these systems too. I know a lot of people like to use mycorrhiza and um, beneficial bacteria. Um, I do not, I would rather be more concerned with algae and bacteria and bad crap. And if you use the UC roots or your do-it-yourself version, you essentially kill everything. And um, your plants just get the nutrients, the silica, you know, whatever you put into the water is what the plants are getting. So, so 77 gallon res, 55 gallon res, 55 gallon res will feed um, the veg area, the clone area. And there's gonna be like a two by two or a three by three area, essentially where I'm standing for the mother plants. Now, um, yeah, this door here is, um, it's kind of a side door that I was, I wanted to put a, uh, a ramp there to put the tractor in. But uh, yeah, I just, uh, I got that shit over there that tractor goes in. So this is getting sealed up. Uh, I have a bunch of siding from when I did my house and uh, going to side the back side where I'm at and the front side where the door and the window are. Um, now I've got an AC. AC is over there. It's going to go in that window. Um, all the walls are going to be uh, panda liner and uh, I'm going to have like shelves pretty much on top of everything up top. Um, you want to try to keep everything off the floor and walking space. That way you um, just have access to everything. Uh, things can get kind of jumbled up with um, rock wool and materials and nutrients and just 
extra stuff like it just can, can get kind of overwhelming so but yeah eight by four tray it's going in that corner uh three by three or two by four i get to see how the reses fit over here um and then all that's getting plumbed in to where it needs to go <clears throat> essentially the reses are going in after the fact um all the electrical work is getting uh done up once everything's framed up that way i can go through and point and say hey, i need something here 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 uh, i got about 40 amps of service coming out here uh, we kind of pre-planned that when we redid our electrical in our house we had a 40 amp uh, outlet put outside or a tie-in so and i got my neighbor's dog big dog so i don't have to worry about people breaking in that dog hears anything over here it starts barking so but as you can see, I get some light coming in up there, so all that stuff's getting sealed up. And um, I uh, get a guy coming to do the insulation for the entire thing, and he's gonna try to find a way to do the insulation for the floor. We're probably gonna run a, um, he's probably gonna cut up the floor, and my buddy's gonna come get four more sheets of plywood, and um, or like the exterior plywood, the you know stuff that you put on the uh, side of your house or something like that before you uh, tie back or you know put siding up and um, put hooks on it so as you slide it underneath the shed you can pull it up with the hooks and there's going to be the floor joists are going to have L brackets in them and then as you're pulling it up and pulling it tight you're going to uh, tie it in and it's going to be um, pulled in with the uh, with the L brackets and then once it's secured with all the L brackets then um, you know, you could, I don't know, figure something else out, but um, fill that in with insulation also, so you can, you're not losing heat or losing cold air down below. So it's just a lot of options, and uh, everything's kind of messed up in here, but this is actually a lot cleaner than it was a month and a half ago. Uh, my kids and uh, my cousin came over and essentially emptied everything out for me, and um yeah, so it's uh, it's looking pretty good right now. And I uh, just got to keep some of these bees out. That's why I got to seal everything up. But uh, yeah, everything's going to be run with Floriflex out here. Um, I'm a big fan of it. And um, it's not something you need to run all the time. Uh, you run it for maybe 30, 60 seconds, you know, a couple times a day. And, um, you know, you do have a pump on circulating the reservoirs and all that stuff. And uh yeah, maybe even do CO out here. I don't know. We'll see how that works. I know they got uh, CO generators and CO uh, tanks and stuff, but uh, I've never worked with CO before, so I'm not too familiar with it. But eventually, I will get there. But yeah, this is uh, you know, wife wants everything out of the house. She thinks it's about time because she wants her gym indoors. So uh, she wanted all of her stuff moved out here and um yeah so far it's uh it's getting there this is an old uh, flood tray res that um, I'm not using anymore that's gonna get cut up or disposed of or right now it's just being used as put that on top it's being used as a table to kind of organize stuff in here so I don't have to bend over at all um, but yeah this is what I got this is my next project um, this is a slow project. It's probably going to get finished over the next month. Um, so probably early July, um, I'll have stuff in here. And uh, by then, should have stuff in the greenhouse. And I'll keep everybody updated on what's going on. All right, everyone. Have a great day. And I'll talk to you soon.